In the late Baroque and in the classical era, there is a little bass formula which is very, very important and very broadly used by all the composers actually, which is called the Alberti bass. And this is for guitar, a real dilemma. The Alberti bass in guitar music unites all the levels beginners, intermediate, concert with rosos, because it appears throughout the repertoire of Giuliani and Saw, for example. Now, what is it? It is this little formula. Very often appears in guitar music in G major or in C major, as in this case. It's more famous in piano music. Listen to this. Domenico Alberti wasn't a professional musician. He was a nobleman from Venice in Italy and worked on several courts as an ambassador. He was a very good amateur singer and piano player. He composed a number of piano sonatas, but he did not invent this formula which is called with his name. It became such a famous little item of music that it entered obviously in guitar music as well. The dilemma is, we have a lot of finger work to do for this single formula. In C major you use two fingers, third and second, fix in that position. This leaves only two fingers in the left hand to play the melody. Same for the right hand because thumb and index finger play this formula and there is middle and ring finger and in classical period the ring finger wasn't even used throughout if not in special cases to play the melody. Let's see what our composers did beginning with Ferdinando Carulli. In Carulli's method opus 241 we see the first transformation of this Alberti bass. Actually Carulli eliminates completely the melody and what remains is an arpeggio, which is very, very famous and typical for Carulli. Listen. No melody at all. Mauro Giuliani uses all the formula, but as you will listen, the melody is quite simple. Harmony as well doesn't move very much in this piece. Fernando Sor. Here we have some development in that bass formula. As long as we have this Alberti bass, the melody in Sor as well is quite simple. But Sor is not a composer that thinks that music should be simple, so the first challenge that he puts us in is this chord in bar 3. of work for music which has the impression of being very easy, very light, very simple. Then we have another hint in this little piece what you can do and what the composers in the period did with the Alberti bass. In bass 7 
also reduces the Alberti bus formula to the only G repeated. So he has the possibility to write two melodies in the bass and and this is lighter and more well it, it's more music actually because it doesn't use all the formula. But certainly all the movements all the movements derives from the Alberti bus. Let's go on. Here, there is no Alberti formula at all, if not at the end Saw uses this technique of two melodies between soprano and bass with the paddle point G in the middle. And again, there is no complete Alberti bass herein, but anyway, the movement that we remember from the sonatas of Haydn, Mozart and Beethoven still is there. It's the source technique of using two voices with the pedal point in the middle. In this case, it's D. And actually, very often you will find Alberti bass formulas in pieces in guitar music that are C major or G major. These formulas appear in the concert pieces as well. Very famous, for example, is the Sonata Opus 15 by Mauro Giuliani, which begins in this way. So we have in a very reduced way the Alberti bass formula. At the end of the video, I would like to show you a little study by Mauro Giuliani, where you can, in one piece alone, see the evolution, what the Alberti bass and this, well, these formulas of movement in classical music can do to a piece. It's actually a very, very short study, but it's a sort of theme and variation. Study that little piece just to have an idea how you can analyze other classical studies and pieces by Sor, Giuliani, Carulli, Legnani, whoever you like, and find that formulas that go back to that amateur singer who never invented the bass he gave his name to. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like to have the PDF of the pieces, just subscribe to my newsletter. Bye.